today we are going to go sign our lease on our place. Pause. That didn't go exactly as I planned. But let's go ahead and get into it. I'm going to tell y'all what really went down. Be with you in one second. <laughs> Ghetto. Child, <clears throat> we gotta talk, okay? Your girl was going through it these last few days. That's why I've been missing action. But what's up, y'all? Welcome back to Resanely Me TV, where we go through our journey one step at a time. And today I am back with another Vlogmas video, episode two. Before we go any further, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Tell everyone about Resanely Me TV. We're going nowhere but up from here, and that's somewhat. Period. Okay. So I know y'all saw the title. I know y'all saw the intro. Like we didn't sign a lease because we didn't. We got roaches. <laughs> Girl, it's been a lot going on. So, like I said in my last vlog, with well, my last vlogmas video, that I was moving. I was moving. Didn't turn out how I wanted to turn out, and I ended up not moving, y'all. So, that didn't happen. The packing happened, but not the moving happened. Okay? So, I was going to move into a place, but sadly, they had a roach infestation problem, and I could not move in because, honey, we don't live with roaches. And if roaches come in your house, because that happens. I'm out here in the country. I'm in Georgia. If roaches or any type of critter comes into your house, that's one thing, like, while you're in it. But who wants to move into a place that has a problem before you even get in it? Like, the roaches moving in before I even move, and they live, and I'm moving in their house. You know what I'm saying? I couldn't do that. You know, so I'm going to tell you exactly what happened and why I didn't move forward. And it ended, it ended up well, it ended up good, but it could have went left, but it went right. And I'm glad it went right. OK, so first things first, I was supposed to move in on the first. I was supposed to go ahead and went out, move in, go get my lease on the first and move in on the fourth, which was yesterday. I was supposed to be moved in, but I canceled my U-Haul. I canceled everything because your girl, like I said, ain't living with no roaches. OK, so. I, on the first, I get there. I'm so excited. I got cute. I started to do a video. I'm like, yes, yeah, so I'm about to come through and do my, you know, empty apartment tour, and the move-in and all this good stuff. I had all these plans for new content videos, for um, moving in, going to the store with me, like all this stuff. I was really about to like do it up. And I'm still going to do it up once that time comes. But right now, we're not doing it up with that. So... I go there, um, I go talk to the lady, you know, I did sign a lease or whatever, and we go do our walkthrough, and um, when I do my walkthrough, everything looked fine, um, the only thing that me and the maintenance man discussed who did the walkthrough with me was just some paint, just painting, something that he was going to um, fix later on that day, so it wasn't no no big issues, it was just like one point, I, some one place I thought needed to be repainted, and he went ahead and fixed it, which he did fix, because when I went back that following day, I saw he fixed it. And I was just like, you know, we did our little walkthrough. I didn't see nothing wrong that stood out besides the paint. And he had left. And I was in the unit by myself. And I'm in there like, hmm, I want to put this there, this there. And, hmm, yeah. So I'm putting on the screen what the place looked like. The place looked, it was a nice unit. It was nothing wrong with it physically. From the naked eye, I didn't see nothing wrong with it. And I felt okay with going forward with it, right? Until while I'm in the living room looking at everything and figuring out how I'm going to place things, I see a roach on the wall by the kitchen wall. Not by the kitchen wall. Well, it was by the kitchen wall. It was more like by by the island. Not even the by island. It was the bar. It was by the bar. Okay. And I'm just like, heck no. Nah. So I call my friend. Bring, 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 bring. Hello, I'm in this place now. And I see roaches up in here. And I can't do it, right? That's what I'm saying to him. And I'm like, I can't do it. Nah, bro, I can't. And he's just like, you know what? It just be a small issue, blah, blah, blah. He's talking me off the ledge. And I'm like, okay, I do want to move in this place. I don't want to talk myself out of this opportunity because I got it for a good deal. It's in a great area. And I'm just like, ah, let, me, let me calm it down. And while I'm on the phone him, I see another roach come out that's like very, very little roach. 
and that's not a good sign that's a sign of an infestation so I, the, the the red flags the alarms is going off in my head and I'm just like no baby I can't I cannot it's no way I can't do it so I went back down to Lisa's office and I'm telling the lady like my concerns like listen I seen two roaches in there and I, I mean like what's going on you know <laughs> like what we're we gonna do to fix it like what's going on so she was basically saying you know I can get maintenance guy to do a bomb or whatever pest control can come out and spray blah 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 and I'm like okay you know I, at first I was gonna jump off the deep end but I'm like you know what I'm going to give them a chance. I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt. I'm going to give them the opportunity to fix it prior to me moving in, okay? So, I was like, okay, I'll do that. So, I went home, and I woke up the next day, and I'm cleaning my dishes, and I'm just, like, thinking I'm playing my version. Music. Like, oh, I'm like trying to get my mind together because the mind is all over the place. The girl is stressed instead of being blessed right now. Even though I am blessed, I'm feeling stressed and I'm blessed. That's how I woke up feeling that day. And that's not a good feeling to have. And I was feeling uneasy. I was still feeling so uncertain. Like something, something just wasn't sitting well with me about the whole situation. And I was going to wait for her to reach out to me about the bonds or whatever. Because I emailed her about asking her if the bombs, if they were put in. And I said, screw it. I'm just going to drive up there. And I drove up there. And when I say I was driving like on one wheel, or on two wheels, okay, I was hitting that thing, going up there. And when I got up there, I went to the unit first. And when I went to the unit, I was on the phone with my mom. And my mom was having like this, uh, like a, not a, too serious of a conversation, but like a, in-depth conversation about something so I was just talking to her I went in you and I didn't even tell her I was going there because I was you know in the conversation I didn't see the need for me to tell her where I was at at that time because we were just talking so I go in the unit I'm in there I'm on the phone with her I went to go use the bathroom Lord and I went to go flush the toilet and I was greeted by a tenant of that unit the tenant the renter which is a roach that was crawling <laughs> on top of the toilet. And I'm like, I just, I was stood up. Well, I was already standing up, but I really stood up. And I was punching the air. I was like, oh, oh, I'm not moving in. I'm not dealing with this. And my mom was like, what's going on? What's going on? I'm explaining to her, like, I see it's a roach crawling on the toilet. I seen one yesterday, but now I see another one. This is a sign. This is a real problem. And I walk out the bathroom and I'm going by the side door and I see a, or another freaking roach by the sliding door and I'm like ah, no baby no then I walk in the living room and I see a roach in the sink and on a counter the kitchen counter where you would put your food at where you would cut things plate things where you would wash things and I'm like no nah, in the kitchen and the bathroom those are two places you don't want it in you don't want it nowhere but especially not your kitchen and your bathroom so I go and I Go to Lisa's office, go talk to her, let her know I seen four more roaches in there. And of course, y'all, I took pictures and videos to cover my behind. And I'm like, yeah, this is what I'm seeing. I don't like this. What can be done? Um, and she was, you know, going over the bombs and the pest control thing again. And one of the guys did offer to push my lease back till after the, the pest people can come spray. But I'm like... I can't do that because I have, first of all, I made arrangements to move on the sun, on Sunday with the U-Haul and the people that was going to help me. So they weren't available any other day and I don't want to take people out of their way, you know, or change plans. Like, just I didn't want to do none of that. So that wouldn't have worked for me. So I was going to move, like, some of my big items on Sunday and then on Monday, um... After they spray, move the rest of my stuff in and actually stay in there. But then I was just thinking, like, I don't want to put my stuff in there and roaches crawling on my stuff. And then I have to disinfect my stuff. So I'm like, no. And then I have to wrap things in plastic. And I just, it was too much. And I'm like, I don't want to deal with that, okay? I had, when I went down there that Friday and I saw all them four roaches, I had came with bombs. So I ended up bombing it, bombing it that Friday when I left, right? So I said, I'm going to go back on Saturday and I'm going to clean up, disinfect everything, get everything ready for the move as well as the past people coming in to go ahead and do what they need to do. So when I came back that following Saturday, I went to the unit first. I had no I had no plans to go into the leasing office. But when I went to the unit um, on Saturday and I saw all those roaches, I saw all that stuff in there. I was like, I can't move forward. Like I just couldn't do it. 
because you know when you do the bombs more come out and there was big ones and was little ones but some still move and i'm like that means that this is a real problem and i don't want to be in a situation where it's a live infestation going on so i went down to the leasing office to talk to someone and the young lady that i was speaking with before who's the assistant manager she wasn't in that day and i had a feeling that she wasn't there but um i talked to the guy there he printed out the lease for me and went over my just so I could see what to read over what I signed and make sure that how I go about this like what to expect but you know all of that so um I also did speak to the young lady she emailed me that night before that Friday um she did offer to put me in another unit but I would have to pay more money but I'm like I don't want to be in another unit and pay more money for an issue that I didn't create so that was not an option for me and she did offer to reimburse me for the bombs but I didn't care about the bombs what was more important to me was me moving into a place that was roach free and so she wasn't there so I had to wait till Monday and y'all I was stressed like I was supposed to be me posting content I was I was planning to post a video um at least twice that weekend at least two videos that weekend like I had things planned I recorded me moving I'm like I have boxes right here I'm literally looking at boxes right now like I had stuff packed up still have things packed up but um I had everything like situated for me to go I had to it took me out of my way to cancel and all this stuff after I made arrangements and other people have arranged their time to help me you get what I'm saying I wasn't the only person that was inconvenienced with this whole thing. So that made me feeling more intense and more strongly for me to terminate the lease, but I didn't know if I was gonna pay a termination fee or what, like I didn't know what was gonna happen. I didn't move in, so I was like, it kinda probably would work in my favor because I didn't move in or anything. So today, Monday, I went and talked to them, was able to get my check back, they need to cash my check, praise God. So I got my check back. I got everything back. The lease is over and done with. And I'm just so glad and thankful that everything worked out in the end. I was stressed. I was like laying on the couch crying. I didn't want to do anything. I didn't want to do no reels. I didn't even want to like, I just didn't want to enjoy myself because I was just so upset about the situation. And I'm so glad that I didn't do it. And just for right now, you're not going to hear me talk about anything about moving on this channel again. The only time that y'all you see me talk about moving, y'all just look up and I'm like, hey guys, new apartment tour, a new house tour. <laughs> it's like a mess. Okay, so yeah, I just wanted to share with you guys um, why I've been gone, what's been going on. I just wanted to share that story with y'all because y'all, it was crazy. I was, something that I also learned from this, and I hope you guys learned from this little video too, is I was so stressed. I was sitting around crying and stressed about just the whole situation and not really operating in faith, not really having faith that God will always work things out for my good. Um, no matter what may happen, it always works out for our good. No matter what happens in our lives, the good things, the bad things, it all works out for our good. Even the things we don't understand in the end, you look back and like, dog, now I get it, you know? And right now I can't, I don't look back and be like, I understand why this didn't work out because I don't know what God has in store for me. I haven't gotten there yet, but it's just like, in the end, I will see why that didn't work out because God has something else planned. So that's just a message for, message for whoever is watching this video and you say you're butt hurt about something that didn't work out that you thought you wanted, that you thought that God was giving you because you prayed for it. But sometimes what you want is not always what you need. And I was thinking that like this place was what I wanted. But then I was like, is that good for me what I want? I really thought that before I moved forward with this place and I turned out what I want isn't really what I need. And that really that place wasn't even truly what I wanted either. That's what I thought I wanted. So, yeah, we learned from that lesson. Thank God. God worked it out where I was able to come out of that situation unscathed and not have to face any major consequences, which I'm so thankful and grateful for. And moving forward, I won't make that same mistake. I hope you and guys enjoy this video. I hope you also enjoy this little story time um, just about what I, what I experienced and what happened. And now... We can move forward and get going with Vlogmas and have some fun with Vlogmas. So I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching this entire video. Thank you so much for staying true to the resilient life. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.